Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we need to overhaul our Flea 1 a little bit. Maybe we'll upgrade it to a Locust. Or maybe we'll just call it a Flea 2. Uh, let's see here, we should have T-800 fuel tanks, right? Yeah, we've got T-800s. So we can replace our two T-400s here, or rather our four T-400s, with two T-800s and make this slightly cheaper. Now what's our thrust to weight here? Our thrust to weight is a, is a bit on the low side towards the ground for sure. And I would like to also upgrade this to a T-800 for our second stage so that we have a lot more maneuver delta V. Like a ton more maneuver delta V. Like this. Now, this does make our thrust to weight be negative on our first, our first stage here. So we are definitely going to need some sort of assistance and the question is, do we asparagus stage this, or do we go for SRBs? Well, we do have access to thumpers, and uh, that might be a good choice for right now. So we can just SRB this, I think. Let's go ahead and have dual radials. We definitely don't need more than two thumpers to get this thing off the ground. Something like this here. Come on. I just want it there. Okay. And then... Yeah, that should be fine. So we'd want this to assist the stage. And then we get rid of this. When we stage off the first stage, I want the second stage to immediately fire. That's how I'm used to my rocket designs working. This one hasn't up until that point. But uh, it's a little awkward. So what's our thrust to weight here right now in this stage? 2.08. That's a little on the high side. Maybe we should limit the thumpers down to 50% thrust? 1.3 thrust to weight ratio. That's a lot better. I like that thrust to weight. Now, I also want to do aerodynamic nose cones on these. That's going to adjust our thrust to weight slightly, I think. Did it not update? Or did that just not add enough mass. They're only 0.3 tons. However, look at this. We have an issue with our craft having way too much mass. So we're going to have to save this, and I am going to save it as the flea one. And we need to upgrade our launch pad. Our launch pad just can't handle this kind of weight. So let's upgrade that. It's relatively cheap to do the first upgrade. And I'd love, once again, to upgrade mission control, but uh, that's not a thing. And actually, we haven't checked for a second, uh, a second contract in a while. Uh -huh. Hmm. Haul a terrier into flight above Kerbin? That's moving really slow in the upper atmosphere. I think not. That's a little too specific. I mean, realistically, I think we're better off to just continue with the plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch this. Okay. So we have much more thrust to weight. We also have a lot more delta V in this thing. Keep in mind that this 2835 meters per second overall delta V is a little bit misleading because our second stage delta V is calculated for sea level because we're currently, well, we're slightly above sea level. It's calculated for our current altitude or rather our current atmospheric pressure. So this is going to increase extremely substantially. But let's go ahead and do this. Hmm. These are on the wrong side. We're going to want to be tipping this direction. And so I think we'd be better off having them on the sides, on, on the other sides. Let's recover this and flip them around. Okay, so once we get these flipped, it, it's so weird because uh, 
I mean, technically it's oriented the way it would be on the launch pad, right? So we want these on the side that goes towards the launch pad. So we want them in line over here. Except we need to be on dual symmetry. About like that. Or is it? Yeah. It's, it's actually... It rotates at 90 degrees when we put it... Okay, that's awkward. Or does it? Am I confused? I might be super confused. We're about to find out. So, we had it oriented so that these here were facing down the line towards the launch pad. Okay, it doesn't rotate it, but this is still the way I want it to be. Isn't it? Yeah, this is still the way I want it to be. <laughs> okay, now that that's all sorted... I mean, it's, it's, it's all very sorted. Let's, uh... Let's go to high orbit, shall we? Do we need more thrust to wait in this thing? I guess we'll have to look at that. 1.3 thrust to weight feels maybe a little on the low side. Maybe we should target 1.5. Oh well, we can we can continue to de to develop this rocket as our needs evolve, which they very much will. And you can see our, our delta V is actually going up and up and up and up as we go up and burn all off out of this first stage. It's kind of insane. Okay, um, I'm not going to gravity turn until these thumpers are off. And our apoapsis is actually quite high right now. So we're going to want to gravity turn very sharply here. Okay, thumpers are gone. We are currently plenty high, but I want to keep going, actually. We do need to gravity turn. There is no doubt about that. Like, realistically, we should be basically at the horizon right now. Trying to get some horizontal speed. some measure of horizontal speed. Okay. There's our, whoops. There's our first stage gone. And we are going to burn a fair amount of fuel here. I still want to be going up. So I'm okay with burning here. Yeah, we're in space. So I'm perfectly fine with burning here. That actually carried us nicely, that first stage. But we definitely need to be accelerating. And we are very slowly, actually, though. But as we burn fuel, that'll be changing. And we're targeting, what, around 300 kilometers, probably? Unless we run out of fuel? I'm, I don't know. We may or may not run out of fuel. Moon is at 11 million. So yeah, like 300,000 300, is fine, most likely. But we do definitely need that horizontal speed, because almost all of our speed was vertical. Just because the solid rocket boosters, not great for turning. They don't gimbal. It's a wee bit awkward. Is 144 considered high orbit? I don't know actually what the threshold is. Let me check it. Kerbin High Orbit. 250k. Gotcha. So Kerbin High Orbit is 250k, so we definitely need to be higher than this. So we can just continue burning right now until we uh, 
get our apoapsis up to there. It can be an elliptical orbit. We don't have to circularize into high orbit. That's fine. For our moon rocket, we're definitely going to asparagus stage it, though. This SRB system just isn't going to cut it. Okay, I'm going to wait till we get a little closer to the apoapsis at this point. And then we're going to push the parry up to like 275 or something, if we can. And then we'll lower this down to around, uh, maybe something like 30, 20, somewhere in there. Once we get to the periapsis and run our experiments. But I'm going to go ahead and warp forward a little bit here. Until we get about... Here. I like here. Lock to prograde. And burn. How much fuel do we have left? We have lots of fuel left. Okay. Now we need to wait for the apoapsis a bit. Technically we're in orbit. And let's push the periapsis up. And now we're pushing up the apoapsis to about 275. Close enough. Excellent. And we've got plenty of fuel left. So let's go ahead and warp around until we get into high orbit. Oh, hello. We can actually EVA here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, we should have SAS on. Uh, go ahead and lock retrograde at this point, I think. And we'll go ahead and collect that EVA report. We're going to continue looking for islands. EV8. Grab that. Lock retrograde. Anything else? Let's go ahead and turn on the audio alert and the time warp stopping. Okay, that's highlands, grasslands, islands, grasslands, islands. Hello. In space high. That's what we're looking for. Okay. There we go. And now we can go ahead and uh, stay locked retrograde. We're actually not near the apoapsis right now, so let's go ahead and warp forward. There's only the, the one in space high science biome. So we're not going to be getting any more th than this. Okay, at the apoapsis, we are going to burn retrograde for our re-entry. Which we're targeting around 20 kilometers. For Actually, we'll target 30. Okay, good enough. Excellent. And let's go ahead and time warp forward. And we do want to be able to stop the time warp if we go into a different biome in space near. Actually, we should close these doors because I am always paranoid about it, even though they're not physics enabled. <laughs> so that's Kerbin's water. Mountains. That's one we don't have. Grab that EVA report. Lock retrograde. Okay, what else is there? Highlands? That's fine. Yep, that's fine. Highlands is all fine. Grasslands. Mountains. Deserts. We don't have that. EV8. Grab it. Board back in. Lock retrograde. Highlands. Mountains. Highlands. Deserts, highlands, deserts, shores, hello. Okay, 
We're also going to stay, or rather, we're going to collect this. And I'm going to quick save here. This may be a terrible idea. We're going to see. I'm going to EVA. EVA report. Get in. Okay, we got the flying high EVA report. That was a little risky. We want to go ahead and lock retrograde right now. And once again, we're going to do a re-entry burn when we're starting to get atmospheric effects to try to bleed off some of the speed. I would like to do a, a, a radial burn, like radial retrograde, to burn off just the apoapsis while keeping the periapsis, but we don't really have the maneuver nodes for that, unfortunately. So I'm going to physics warp forward until we start getting those atmospheric effects. And right at around 50 kilometers, as usual, we're going to go ahead and do our re-entry burn. And we've actually got a kilometer per second to burn here. Yeah, this re-entry burn is making this so much safer. Like, look at this, we're already down below 2 kilometers per second. Easy peasy. Okay, re-entry burn is flame out... now. There we go. And looks like we are going to miss the engines. That's pretty good. I would love to physics warp this, but I do not trust it. I don't trust it in the slightest. We're going to be under a, kilom a kilometer per second here pretty soon, though, so that's good. And we'll be able to physics warp once we're there. With the heat shield, Jeb is holding attitude quite well. Okay, so yeah, we burned off two ablation. That's uh, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and physics warp. We'll launch our drogue shoots and our main shoot, and we don't need to have SAS on anymore. I'm going to be using this primarily, this instrument up here, instead of eyeballing when to no longer have the warp on. Actually, no, I can see it just fine. I was thinking it was too dark, but... No, this is, uh, this is fine. And this should be a very, very productive science mission. Of course, we're not going to get paid until the next mission, which is going to be our moon flyby. And for that, we're almost certainly going to need to asparagus stage. Two hundred meters above the surface. 100, 10 meters, and splash down. Fantastic. Let's recover. Did it uh, not go? There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we got 149.2 science. Yeah, that was a good one. However, it is uh, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next episode, we will invest our science and then start our prep work for the moon flyby. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.